special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. I got a letter. The name on the envelope said Mary. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. Is she really alive? got there none of your business you didn't love Mary anyway what hey wait how do you know her name Oh, 
show you the horrors of hell. Now perish along with this planet! Yeah. いかがだったでしょうかまず本作はやはりシリーズの正当進化作品ですので過去シリーズのいい点はそのままに残しており引き続き「ドラゴンボール」らしい縦横無尽でダイナミックな 3D アクションバトルをお楽しみいただけることを念頭に開発を進めておりますラッシュ攻撃や派生コンボによる近接格闘だけでなくドラゴンダッシュを使った高速移動やファンの皆様なら思わず懐かしんでいただけるような伝統のカウンターシステムそしてさらには激しい肉弾戦や気候波の打ち合いを楽しめるインパクトアクションなど派手なバトルシステムはそのままにバトルのやり込み要素だけではなく見ているだけでも楽しめるよう演出面にも気を配っていますアルティメットブラストはまさにそのうちの一つで最新のプラットフォームだからこそ実現できるド派手演出となっていますこのゲームで実現させたドラゴンボールらしいダイナミックかつ激しいバトルを存分にお楽しみいただけると嬉しいですそしてシリーズとして大事にしている要素だけでなくせっかくのゲームプレイ説明の機会なので今作ならではの新要素もお伝えできればと思いますまず先ほど基本的なメカニクスはシリーズからその DNA を受け継いでいる旨をお伝えしましたが
ドラゴンボールアクションの爽快感やダイナミックなバトルを表現可能にするためにはどうしたらよいか議論を重ねいくつかの変更や新要素を加えました今回はその中から4つほど先ほどお見せしたバトルの映像を使用しながらお伝えできればと思います大きな変更点としては通常移動を高速化して前作のダッシュ相当のスピードにしつつこれまでダッシュ相当のスピードにしつつ Get what we need from the senator, then grab Adler from the black site before anyone knows what's happened. Camera actually works. Sometimes I surprise even myself. Let's just hope Sev and Case can get the retinal scan. Senator's on stage now. Use your camera to get a better look. The senator isn't giving interviews tonight, and he doesn't go anywhere without his security detail. I've marked a few leads that could help get you close enough to do the retinal scan. Take your pick. I got it on good authority that the senator stole some sensitive information from the people I work for. Who's how are you? Black men and a senator with sex tapes. Can't beat the classes. I've cleaned up another of your messes. Lee Grisham, head of security for All Dream Energy. Grisham might be our way to McKenna. I modified the infrared image to highlight the capillaries in the Senator's retina. It should have just enough resolution. Knew our schedule somehow. Started shooting. We must be Pantheon. We can do this loud or quiet. Go, go, go. Pantheon guys literally sent the big guns after you, Adler. How's that feel? It's like progress. Up through the service hatch. You two first. I'll give you a boost. You first, Adler. <laughs> Come on, Case. You're coming down. Here. Almost home free. Thanks. 
hope you have a plan B. Same as plan A. Go up. We'll just take the scenic route. Let's get moving. Outgun him, we outrun him. Just like that, huh? Just like that. Ever do anything like this before? No. But I don't see any better options, and I'm running out of bullets. Home Neff's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. Should we be in more of a hurry to get out of here? We don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solus. You still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Halt! Wait! But I didn't do anything! Get down! Are they after us? Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially in this Still stop Solus before it finishes. Let's go! Harding's this way. She'll get us to Dumont Plaza. Watch out! <laughs> is Solus summoning demons on purpose? My guess is the veil is weakening, and they're slipping through the cracks. And when the veil comes down completely? And the whole world is going to look a lot like this! Come on! This way! It should get us to Harding! You're safe now. 
Get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the Fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? We're good, but we need to move. Agreed. Solus isn't waiting, neither can we. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages, but their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Rook, you're with the Shadow Dragons. I figured you'd know Minrathis better than I do. Sure, but Minrathis is huge, and this is nowhere near my neighborhood. I can try. Don't worry. Scouting's my specialty. Follow me. Eyes up! We've got company! Demons, here they come. <laughs> Let's get to Dumont Plaza and find Nev. Patch yourselves up if you need it. You are in violation of Imperial Order! I don't get it. If Solus tears down the Veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Solus always talked about how beautiful the ancient world was. That world existed before the Veil, and he wants <sighs> to bring it back. kills us all in the process. Venatory cultists! I hate these assholes. Looks like the Venatori put up a barrier to block the way. More intruders! Avenge our fallen brethren! We're sliding down. They're allies of Nev Gallus! Kill them all! People across nine endless years. A land grotesque as its people. Let us speak of the old vulture's last grasp at power. The tournament for the throne. So, summing up, our first trial is to slay a monster. Sounds like we've lost a few candidates already, too. Poor bastards went after something too nasty for their headhunt. A land full of feral humans, with people either running or going mad. What do we believe in, really? You lot! Enemy attack! Race 
supposed to become king, are you? Not exactly. I treat all tribes equally. Each ally of a different tribe. Fascinating. Fear and anxiety. They always lead the people astray. This place, it isn't a utopia. If that's the real world, then it can die alongside you! I will not let you die in vain. He'll be sending all traces to the gallows. Not just us, but any innocent folks he doesn't find useful. It is a new dawn, and its light shines upon Lord Luisa's king. Luisa's outcome is beyond your meddling now. I must clear my head of these fantasies. In the end, clinging to a dream will do me no good. Knowing all this, I shall claim the ideals you abandoned and finish it in your stead. Hello everyone, I'm Katsura Hashino, the director of this title. For those that may not know me, I've worked on titles such as Shin Megami Tensei 3, Persona 3, Persona 4, and Persona 5 among others. Our program today is about Alice's upcoming RPG, Metaphor, to share the latest information with you. As we announced in the trailer earlier, the release date is confirmed. The entire team is grateful for the positive feedback we've received since the announcement. But for some of you, perhaps this is the first time you're seeing Metaphor. This work is being brought to you by not only the Persona team, but in collaboration with renowned artists to create a brand new RPG. With this team, we decided to challenge the fantasy genre, aiming to create a game we can call a culmination of our RPGs. Our hope is that not only Atlas fans, but those who have never played our games, and RPG fans around the world will give this game a shot. Today we'd like to spend some time introducing the gameplay experience of Metaphor, as I talk over while playing the game. Please check out the Atlas YouTube channel for more information that will come further down the line. We'd love your support. Please subscribe. Before I start playing, let me introduce the premise of the story. In this game, you'll be forging bonds to support your claim for the throne, but it's the unique take on this that we hope puts a spin on the classic tale. In a kingdom thrown into chaos by the king's assassination, a royal magic is triggered that establishes an election. This magic allows any individual of any social status to become the next king by gaining the people's support which sets a battle for the throne in motion. The protagonist gets involved, and the journey will take him around the world. It's a journey that I hope you enjoy, as it's unique to this game. You'll meet various allies of different tribes, rivals who stand by their own ideologies, and terrifying monsters called humans will stand in your way. The story is brimming with fateful encounters like this. Above all else, a game offers a different experience than a movie or novel. So to prevent this from becoming just a vehicle for our tale, we've gone to great lengths to flesh out the experience into an exciting, fully fleshed game. There's lots to be excited about, so I hope you'll stay with us till the end. Let's get started, shall we? The title's logo design is based on the concept of a city's main street. It conveys our hope that players will enjoy a journey through a world full of diverse tribes. If you don't mind, let's start at the beginning.
What makes Metaphor different from other fantasy RPGs is the perspective of their world in which our world is their fantasy. After players enter their name, they must answer the questions. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation? The game questions the power of fantasy, a power we all possess. I hope the game helps you arrive to your own conclusions. Our protagonist's journey and goal is to save the prince who has been cursed. This is a scene from the beginning of the game. What differentiates this from previous Atlas RPGs is that we've added a more dynamic sense of action. The turn-based battles are still central to the combat, but we've incorporated real-time attacking and dodging elements, as well as dashing around and analyzing to keep things exciting. At the beginning of the game, the protagonist isn't strong yet, so the difficulty of the battles is intentionally pretty high in this area. We wanted players to get a sense of both tension and accomplishment. I might die if I risk fighting right now, so I'll explore cautiously during this segment. That said, there are multiple difficulty levels and convenience factors to make things easier, so we hope anyone who wants to play can enjoy it. I can at least cast my usual spell for you. In this scene, our fairy companion casts a musical spell. The music you hear in-game is in the protagonist's head. The composer behind the music is Shoji Meguro. People probably know him from the Persona series, but I've asked him not to be constrained by his trademark pop style and to take on the challenge of creating a totally new sound to fit this game's world. We hope you'll look forward to hearing it.
Not ready yet. Ready yet. Need more time. Test me then! Test my... <laughs> 